Here's your forecast from the first alert weather team. Oh, we show this graph on occasion, but now we're at that statistical top of the mountain here in the Atlantic hurricane season. Now, just because we're here it doesn't mean, hey, it's all said and done and we have no issues, right? We know that there have been some formidable storms that come after the peak of the season, including the likes of Hazel, Floyd, Matthew, and another storm, Florence, which at this point back in 2018 was a formidable category four hurricane in the open waters. No major hurricanes here in 2024, some six years later, but a couple areas of interest that could develop into either some tropical or tropical depressions, as it could be the case with Invest 92L, or this unnamed disturbance, which has some better odds of development here over the course of the next week. But really, the big game in town is Tropical Storm Francine. Still dealing with an influx of dry air from the West, so it really hasn't strengthened and blossomed as much as it could. So a little bit of a benefit there, right? No direct impacts for us. Some remnant moisture by the end of the week could be a possibility. Heavy surf and rip currents not expected, but I will note that those chances likely going to tick up unrelated to that by the end of this week. So worth being careful if you're heading out to the water. 60s for us tonight, 80s again for us tomorrow. So yeah, Temps on the cool side, but pretty close to average tomorrow afternoon. Some clouds building in, especially around lunchtime. Perhaps the commute home. Maybe you're knocking off early. I want to show uh, our sky cams first and foremost and show you the sunshine and everything that we have right now and also the temperatures that go along with it. Upper 70s and lower 80s. So we are beginning to cool off. I do want to go back to this, the temperature perspective, because I had to make a couple of adjustments to numbers. There is that 56. That was our official low this morning, and that ties where we were at June 1st. Also, coincidentally, the last time we hit the 50s, and I'll point out the record low 48 set back in 1956. Now we'll get you to the satellite and radar where things are quiet in the Carolinas, but still obviously a mess along the Gulf Coast. So we'll enjoy some quiet time for now before some higher level cirrus clouds begin to move in. We'll say during the course of the overnight and tomorrow morning, some thicker clouds clouds eventually come and we'll say later Wednesday and Thursday, but with those upper level clouds, not a lot of moisture to work with. So your rain chances low for tomorrow. They'll start to incrementally tick up as we get toward Thursday and I think more so on Friday. You see some of that moisture to the south and west beginning to move in. So the umbrella, not a bad idea to close out the week. You'll perhaps need it for the weekend too, but I don't anticipate any huge washout days at this point, despite rain chances being on the elevated side, about 50 50 clouds going along with that temps uh, a little cooler than normal, but upper 60s and lower 70s. The overnights because of those clouds and showers, John, those are going to rem uh, remain a little bit above average. And that pattern takes us all the way through the end of next week. Nice run there of our mm -hmm. 80s. Though. I don't see a nine on that board anywhere. I'll tell you what, those that are a fan of cooler temperatures, this, this is absolutely the forecast yeah. for them. To counter that, I'll yeah. say those that like warm summery temps, maybe stepping outside first thing in the morning, not needing a jacket, I think this benefits them too. Yeah, kind of crisp for everybody. Yes. Not too cold, not too humid. That's Just the great thing right now. right. Yeah. yeah. All right, Gabe, thanks.